Welcome guys to the new episode of Book Your Show app. In this episode, we are going to discuss about how to integrate Google Sign In using Superbase. So the first thing which you need to do is go to Superbase here, open your project from here. Okay. Now inside, in the left side, you will see the authentication tab here. Now in here, you will see the provider under configuration, open providers, and at the bottom. When you scroll down, you will see the Google provider. Let me delete everything so that you will get to. Okay, here, when I enable the Google, here we need to add the client ID, client secret for OAuth. Okay, now the next thing is we need these client IDs and client secret, right? So for that, you need to go to Google Cloud Console. Okay, search on Google, Google Cloud Console. Click on first link open this google cloud console now when i when you open this google cloud console if you are new to this google cloud you have to first set up your account that means you need to add your credit card details and all the payment details okay once that account creation process is set up you need to open this api services okay open api services from, from the top you can select your app or you can create the new project so let's create a new project I will name it as book your show okay I will name this like this now here you need to set up the billing account I have already en entered the billing details here so I am able to see this firebase payment here okay now from here you can create the API service now inside OAuth consent screen inside OAuth consent screen select the external here create okay now here you need to add the name of your app so let's go to flutterflow at the bottom you will see the settings inside app details copy this go to google cloud console here i will enter the app name from here i will select the email id okay that's it and here at the bottom we need to add the email id so i will name it like this and save and continue okay once that is done we need to go to credentials here go to credentials now you will be able to create uh, now at the top you can see the create credential button from here i will select the OAuth client id OAuth client id and from here we will select the web application first and create this okay, one thing we need to do here is let's click ok click on this web client one thing here we need to do is authorize redirect URLs. So here I will add the redirect URL. Go to Superbase. Here at the uh, when you click on Google here, Google tab inside this provider. At the bottom you will be able to see the callback URL. So copy that callback URL and paste it here. Okay, and save this. Okay now once again i click that client id and from at the right side you will be able to see your client id copy that client id and inside superbase here paste that client id okay now i will i am entering the comma here okay as you can see i have entered the comma because we have to add the comma separated list of client ids for web and android apps okay so this is for the web similarly we have to create the credentials for our Android and iOS app. So from the top, I will create credential OAuth client ID. Application type will be Android. And what is the package name? So let's go to Flutterflow settings app details. And from here, you will be able to see the package name. Copy this package name. And inside Google Cloud Console, you will you can paste this. Now the next thing is we need the SHA1 certificate fingerprint. Here we have this command at the bottom. You can copy this and you have to enter the path to your key store okay so for that what i will do is open the command prompt okay inside the command prompt you have to enter this command okay now make sure before running this command you change this with the with your user name okay c drive users i have this hp username inside android folder there is this debug.keystore file and with the help of which you will get the SHA1 and SHA256 fingerprint. 
so uh, for security reasons i cannot show you the sha1 sha256 but when you run this command you will get the keys very clearly okay make sure you have the debug.keystore file inside the android folder before running this command okay okay once that is done let's create this now we have the client id for our android app as well now go to supervise and after the comma here at the end okay paste this okay for android similarly for ios as well you have to create the credential so let's create this quickly for ios as well and here inside bundle id you can add this package name here okay let's create the ios client id as well now from here you get the client id for ios as well go to supervise and at the end here inside client ids you can use the keyboard right arrow key at the end add the comma and paste the id okay now inside web client go to web client here you will be able to see your client secret here copy this client secret and add that client secret here okay click here and that's it and one more thing we need to do is go to url configuration inside this redirect url add url okay you need to add the so go to app details here at the bottom if you scroll down at the bottom you will be able to see the url scheme copy this url scheme here book your show and the same url scheme book your show dot com and save it okay so these are the settings which you need to do to enable the google authentication in superbase and in flutterflow now the next thing is go to flutterflow here inside settings search superbase go to superbase here and here you will be able to see the superbase authentication select this and we need to add the ids here okay so enable google authentication and for web client id go here select your web client id from the top right and paste it here okay and for ios let's go back and for ios client here select this and you will be able to see the client id here paste it in the ios client id okay okay so that's it that's all you need to do now let's go back to our ui page onboarding screen and here when you click on this google sign in open the action flow editor let me delete this here you can add the action and login okay super base authentication login or provider will be google and here we will navigate to book your seat page okay and make sure you have enabled inside settings you have also enabled the authentication here inside authentication select enable authentication and we are not using the firebase in this course in previous courses i have explained how you can enable the authentication and how to use firebase but in this course we are completely focusing on superbase so we have selected the superbase entry page will be the onboarding screen and logged in page will be the book your seat screen okay so we haven't created this book your seat screen right now but uh, we will create that in our upcoming episodes as well now to test the google sign in feature okay we need to download the code because we can't check it in run mode or in test mode okay this is little bit advanced so for that what you need to do is you need to download the code here okay you need to be on the premium plan of flutterflow to download the code once you get the code you will be able to see how to now once you get the code here okay this is a code i will open this right click here and extract to book your show okay now once that is done open visual studio code so if you haven't downloaded the visual studio code then make sure you download the visual studio code from google okay now from here you can download the visual studio code uh, for windows and if you are on the mac you can download for mac as well so this is very simple once you download the exe file that visual studio code will be set up in your system okay okay 
so now we have this book your show app now let's drag and drop this inside visual studio code and this will open the visual studio and this will open the app in visual studio code yes i trust the authors and from here all you have to do is go to pubspec.yml and uh, let's run this pub get command now here at the bottom you can see some packages are missing would you like to get them now run pubkit so you can do this from here or from top top button here as well okay so get packages this will install all the packages required to run this app and at the top left here okay you can see the cursor from here you can open the terminal new terminal okay so at the bottom let me show you let's maximize this from here you can see the terminal now inside this you can type ls here you can type the ls you can see this folder name book your show so whatever the name of your app is open that using the cd command change directory open cd book your show app now you need to run the command flutter run okay so this will run your app in the physical device okay so to test this you need to select the device from here so to connect your android phone or a smartphone to the system you need you, there are two ways you can connect it using the usb cable okay and currently i am using my android phone and i have connected the phone to the system with usb cable and also inside settings i have enabled the usb debugging okay so once that is done you will be able to see your device in the list okay so you, as you can see i have this device available now now once the device is selected you can run this in chrome as well or in edge but currently i am using the physical device so that i can test the feature directly okay now once that is done flutter run command command and enter now this will run the app in physical device directly okay so in this way you will be able to test your app functionality in physical device as well so before launching the app on the play store or on the app store you can test in your device okay so this is the way you can do this but in my previous courses where i was using the firebase there you will be able to test the feature in flutterflow itself so that's the difference between superbase and firebase many things we can't test in flutterflow directly when we are using this superbase but in firebase this feature is available okay once that is done i will attach the demo so that you can see whether the google sign in is working or not okay okay guys so now let's check whether the user is logged in or not so inside the superbase here come to authentication tab here okay inside this users i have signed in with this email id and the provider is google and this is the timing where we have enabled the google sign in so this is how the google sign in works in superbase and in flutterflow okay guys so i hope you have learned a new thing in this episode in the next episode we will focus on creating the ui of our home screen where we will fetch the movies okay so that will be the part of our next episode in this course okay okay guys so that's it for today thank you for watching see you in the next episode